Um, that means I can now uh, introduce Liverpool's finest, you know, um, trying to think of the most famous people in Liverpool. And apart from Scott, I couldn't really think of many, sort of Silla Black or some four singers, I can't remember their names, but other than that, it's, it's uh, Scott from uh, EZIP. Thank you. Thanks, Nigel. Hey. Um. Oh, here we go. So, yes, first and foremost, thank you for visiting our beautiful city of Liverpool. Um, little, yeah. There we go, yeah. Thank you for visiting Liverpool. Um, Contrary to what you might believe, your cars are safe. <laughs> um, not too sure about guys' um, trousers, actually, um, but no, we'll move on anyway. <laughs> no, you're okay. So, yeah, quick introduction. Many of you know my face. Um, my name's Scott Seddon. I've been working at Thinprint now for over 10 years. Thinprint, our on-premises traditional print solution that you're very aware of, I guess, in EUC. Um, but here I'm today to talk about our cloud print solution, which is called Easy. Um, and it's called Easy Blue. Been around now for a good few years um, and getting really busy in the EUC world. So I've only got 15 minutes, so I'll crack on really quickly. Um, we'll just go through a couple of use cases. Um, I'll explain how Easy Blue works, and then we'll cover off the main features for Easy Blue. But I really would like you to pop in, see us at our stand, um, and ask any questions, and we can go into like some live demos as well. So to start off, I'm going to use. Um, Oscar, so Oscar works for a little company called Tech Market Global, sells computer components globally, um, and he works in sales. So, typical, we've seen how the modern workplace has changed over the years, we know, how, we know where we've come to now. Um, Oscar's working from home, he needs to print a network printers, he wants to redirect printers into his DAS um, or uh, sessions. Um, we can all relate to this. I actually even still do this today. I'm guessing everyone else does this as well. But it does come with a whole load of problems as well. A lot of considerations. Sometimes, often, considerations you don't think about at the very beginning. The things that actually come and bite you on the backside near the end um, because you've not really thought it through too well. So, site to site VPNs ordinarily um, to get to your network printers. Can we actually get to them uh, if printing from the cloud? Also, from a network point of view, then we've got to build complex firewalls um, to actually get outbound traffic. The opposite can be said, though, if we're actually using cloud printing and using cloud solutions, as ordinarily port 443 will be open for you anyway. Um, and then also security. We speak about security in the EUC all the time, and rightly so. But how secure is your print data? You know, print data must be encrypted end-to-end. -end. It must be encrypted at rest as well if you're using secure printing. Um, and then also the user experience. How, how actually uh, quick is it for that user? Digital experience is paramount for the end user. Uh, so we've got to make sure that it's actually efficient for the user as well. So another use case, very simple. We return to office, hot desk and flexible work and desk share and various different uh, names. Uh, we do this actually now in our headquarters in Berlin. Um, but this also brings, again, a load more different like uh, pain points as well. So, you know, here, um, printer mapping is paramount, getting the right printer to where you're actually lo uh, sat and located. Um, also, then, release secure pull printing um, solutions must come into play as well. Oscar needs that facility to, like, maybe map his own printers as well. Um, so... The release element is important. We can release, uh, we see typical RFID um, releasing, but there's also other release mechanisms out there as well, which are important. One in particular that we do, we'll talk about a little bit later on. Um, and then EUC uh, admins, our admins, me, um, you guys out there, you know, there's a whole load of different admin headaches. Um, I've listed a few of them. Um, there's a lot more than this. I won't go into them all. Um, we can talk about them at the at our booth, of course, but like, you know, GPOs, complex VB scripts. If you ever like manage these VB scripts, like to get your printer mappings, it's such a headache. Uh, we need a real simple solution. So introducing Easy Blue. So I like to describe our product is three pieces of a jigsaw. Um, on the right hand side, uh, we have our Easy Connectors. Um, so what is our connectors? Well, dead simple. Our connectors role is to automatically scan your printers 
at your remote sites and then register those printers to the cloud to make them cloud-enabled printers. Typically, one connector at one remote site. Um, but our, um, our actual connectors it actually comes in two flavours. We have a little black box uh, appliance called our Easy Pub. Uh, please, again, come and see our Easy Pub. Um, it's at our booth. But we have a software version as well that we can automatically just install on a Windows print server and then it's, and register all those print queues to the cloud and make them uh, print ready, uh, cloud ready uh, printers as well. And then number two part of the jigsaw is the centerpiece, uh, our Easy Cloud. This is our single management UI, easy.com, accessible from any browser. Once you registered for your free trial, uh, admins get an admin view. Um, Admins here can do all the typical management of the print queues, do the printer mappings, access control, build printer profiles. Um, additionally, in the bottom left corner, you can see that I've put a little purple cloud. Purple cloud really is just simulating like a typical EUC um, stack. So it could be an AVD um, environment, it could be a Citrix, VMware, Omnisa, um, etc. cetera. Um, but the, the message that we'll get into is like how agnostic we are as well. Um, of course, we can package our applications um, and we can push them out with Intune, uh, but alternatively as well, our end users can actually pull these um, applications down to the uh, images as well. So the final piece of the jigsaw is that process is where we're pulling those actual um, applications down as well. So in addition to our um, admin view when accessing the uh, easy.com, we also give a user view as well, which is like a limited, view, a limited view. And in that limited view, you can actually download the necessary applications as well, if you choose to do, do so. Uh, there's two agents in particular. One agent is our remote desktop agent. This is where we'll install this on your laptop so you can redirect those printers into any, any particular session that you want to access. And then the other one's the Easy Print app. So the Easy Print app really is grabbing your user identity it's actually uh, you doing all the uh, mapping of your printers as well. It's using our virtual print driver as well to give you a driver-free print solution as well. So with all this in mind and the actual um, topology there in front of you here, we really do have the perfect print solution with all the different features available for you in EUC. So let's dig a little bit deeper into this. Um, we've gone with a little superhero theme, so I hope you like that. Um, so, Eliminate print servers. So in this day and age, print servers, they are simply a thing of the past. Um, let's get rid of all those print servers. At Easy Blue, that's what we do. Uh, we, we remove all your print servers, but we will stick with them if you want to stick with them. Reduce your running costs. We know all the benefits about eliminating servers, no server maintenance, etc. cetera, um, no license costs, um, no, no printer creation for your admins. Um, our, our connectors as well, they do come in them two flavours, as I mentioned. So let's eliminate them. We just simply don't need print servers in EUC. Agnostic approach as well. So this is simply a must from our point of view. We're easy, easy blue, we're vendor agnostic. So there's no special fancy printers required for your print solution. We can make your own personal printers, manage print, um, cloud printers. Um, using our own virtual print drive. You don't have to go out and buy these real big, expensive MFDs. Um, also, device agnostic as well. Like you'll start getting a feel that, like we spoke about Citrix, we spoke about VMware, we spoke about um, like AVD. Um, it's a perfect launch pad for me to actually just demonstrate that we work with all these people um, and many more third party vendors that we'll get into a little bit later on. So, the perfect print solution, it should work for all. Um, driver management, printer mapping as well. So at Easy Blue, we guarantee reliable printer mapping as well, uh, using our Auto Connect technology. So the Auto Connect, uh, Connect technology will run at logon, um, and we guarantee that printer mapping. We even give your users the end um, the, in the end the facility to map their own printers. So from that user portal, um, users can actually log on from any HTML5 browser anywhere that they're positioned as long as you've got outbound internet access and be able to self-service what printers they want. So that really comes into its own when we're using web apps as well, um, not just like using DAS. Uh, driver management, so yeah, we take care of all your drivers as well for you. 
Um, no need for those print servers. You might ask, well, Scott, where is them drivers reside? Well, our drivers that reside in the driver in um, pool in, in the cloud, um, in Azure, actually. Um, we've got up to 10,000 native drivers in our cloud. You name it, Brother, Xerox, Konica Minolta, um, Samsung, HP. And more importantly, all fully tested drivers as well. So these drivers, like you see a lot of issues um, with printing in the EUC with driver incompatibilities. Well, we've addressed that and we actually um, have gone through all the UAT uh, stress testing of all our drivers that are in the cloud as well. And then also we go one step further, we're actually rendering that print data in the cloud. So we're sending a print ready file out of the cloud securely over to your endpoints as well. Printer profiles as well. So at Easy, we haven't forgot about the importance of printer profiles either. So when a user maps the printers um, and all those native printer drivers with various different offerings that are actually missing. Um, what we do at Easy is we actually can build a printer profile with all those preferences and we can assign them to global groups, whether it's using your entry ID or whether it's using your Active Directory on-premises uh, groups, we can actually map those printer profiles to it as well. And just with a few clicks of the button as well. So an obvious one, follow me printing. Um, we know about that, I touched on a little bit then. Um, we secure follow me printing with Easy Blue. We don't just support like your typical RFID cards. You can download our Easy Print app. It knows who you are because we've grabbed the identity of you. You can then um, go up to a printer with a QR code. It knows who you are. It knows what printer you're at, and you can manage your print queues from your actual application that's on your uh, on your phone as well. Um, and then costs and sustainability. So, really important topic is sustainability for me. Um, we all have an obligation for um, sustainability in EUC, uh, reducing that carbon footprint, eliminating the print servers. Also, little things like paper consumption with features mentioned earlier, such as the print later and the secure printing options. Um, at Easy, we can even purge your print jobs as well for you uh, after a set amount of time and let you be able to manage that. So if you've sent a print job to a secure holding queue, um, it's secured at rest, and then we give you the ability to actually say, well, after a period of 36 hours, 24 hours, you can actually purge those print jobs if they're not actually released as well. Um, and then also we're signed up to different um, like um, sustainable like um, third parties, like uh, Just Dig It. So we're signed up to Just Dig It. So for every print uh, that we actually print out now that we like, will do so many seeds and plant so many seeds to re um, like. Uh, grow some trees in the environment as well. Um, I was also, uh, I've got enough time, still got like two and a half minutes, so I will squeeze this one in as well. I was at Agile Secure last week, a couple of other people were there, and I seen like Sunscreen IT and what they were doing. If anyone was there, um, I recommend you go and speak to Sunscreen IT because it was remarkable what they were doing with their e waste that actually kind of nearly had me in tears with what they were doing. We talk about it easy, but about eliminating print servers and getting rid of the print servers. Sunscreen IT were like, well, what happens with those, uh, the hardware that we're disposing? And you were talking about like Sierra Leone, and you were talking about like uh, different countries in South Africa. And it was shocking to see what was happening. So it's things like that that are important for us at Easy Blue. And um, Easy, we're talking to Sunscreen IT as well now, which was awesome. Um, and like, really about like, Doing, going one step further, and it's something that like, we should really be thinking about with our e-waste. Um, next one. And yeah, I'll just finish off with uh, printing costs. So we're making it affordable. In EUC, we talk constantly about cost neutral, cost negative. Nerdio are doing a great job about um, like the cost negative uh, value and things. Um, we're easy as well. We're actually focused on giving you a cost negative uh, print environment. And how we're doing that is with... Um, are eliminating the print servers, the things that I've talked about. We can dramatically reduce your total cost of ownership, um, driving you to a cost negative print solution. <coughs> eliminating print servers, no capex expenditure by getting rid of those print servers. Um, so yeah, easy often, we've got lots of use cases. When you invest in easy, it'll pay for itself. Uh, we've got lots of case studies on our website. I recommend that you go and have a look uh, at that. And we have a fixed user base license model for you as well. So no sparring costs, you know where your costs are every month and every, um, every year. Security compliance, of course, um, a slide deck has to be included for security. 
we encrypt print data, TLS 1.3, end-to-end. It's encrypted at rest as well. We insist on two-factor authentication. We're compliant, uh, GDPR compliant, undertake very regular pen tests, as you would expect. We have stringent, stringent service certification, certifications and um, hosting certifications, such as ISO 27001, and we're zero trust ready, to name a few. Tons of things to speak to you about. Please come and see me at the, uh, at the thing. And then it's all managed from that single management UI. One UI can manage your whole infrastructure, regardless of um, who you are. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to speak. Uh, and, yeah, one print solution for all your EUC. Come and see me. Thank you very much. Well, that's me, Doug. Scott.